Just be subscribing. God is going to bless you. Okay. So today's video is going to be about how to get over a bad relationship. And um, I really feel like a lot of us really need it. Not really a bad relationship, any type of relationship at all. So just stay tuned and get ready for this video. So the first point. Oh my god, I mean if you're here, I love you. I mean you're going through so much for you to actually come here. I mean you're going through a lot. <laughs> So I love you, and uh, if you know you are breaking somebody's heart, then you're here. Well, if you're breaking somebody's heart for the good reasons, then you're welcome because obviously you need this. But if you're just breaking somebody's heart out of the fact that you're a fool, may God forgive you. No good to heal to see. Anyways, I mean love is hard, man. Like, can you even imagine how hard love is? Like, love is so hard like it is so hard like one minute can be sweet and then the other minute can just go sour everything can just be bitter like you just be depressed and all of that that's love for you so you just have to understand that love is like that so here are some meaningful tips to help you get over that thing that you are going through right now first way to get over a breakup or any breakup is to evaluate why you are here first accept that your relationship is over it may work it may not work but that depends on you. You just have to go through this first stage. Accept that your relationship is over. And see that it's for the best for you. Like it's actually for the best. Like everything that happens in life happens for a reason. You are here for a reason. And the reason why your relationship broke off is probably for the best. So just accept that you are here for a reason. And make the good use of it. Like where am I going to now? What is my next step? Where is the next direction? Where am I actually going to? Like what am I going to do with my life now that my relationship is over? Think about that. And it can be for your own good. Most people went through this and it motivated them to be bigger people or better people today. So make sure you, you know, lay hold of it. The second thing you should do is to let go of all the emotions that you're feeling. If you are actually invested in a relationship that you hurt you, you probably be feeling anger, sadness, bitterness pain, hatred, you want to kill somebody, let all that emotion out. Don't keep all your it in. You're bottling the emotions and that's not healthy for you, especially for your heart. It's going to keep you awake at night. It's going to make you break out. I mean, that's the most important thing right now. I can't be breaking out after you have finished breaking my heart. That got the point. So, yeah, don't break out over somebody. Just let go for your own good. It's not for the person's own. Is for your own good just let go let go and let go let go allow the emotions out cry don't bottle it in the don't if you need to cry cry if you need to laugh laugh if you need to don't go and be aggressive i'm not saying you should burn anybody's house or anything but if you need to let the emotions out let it out okay don't keep it on you and make sure that you actually you know don't stay in that stage for too long. Don't stop. Don't stay there. Don't die. Don't kill yourself because somebody left you. Just make sure that you actually encourage yourself. Just make sure that you don't stay. You can cry. You can let it all out. But don't stay in that stage for too long. Number three, get yourself a valid support system. Get yourself a support system. Get more you can talk to. Don't want to get somebody that will go and spread your gist around you. I'm not saying that. But get somebody that can talk to. Who can actually relate to all these things that you are saying. Who can help you. Don't mind for someone that will spill your tea around. Eh, eh, no. Get somebody that is going to actually support you. Somebody that you trust. Somebody that you love. Okay? When I was going through my first relationship, it was quite bad. But I had my sisters around me and it was okay in the end. So just make sure you get that. <laughs> On all these three things, have you accepted, let the emotions out, and found the support system? Okay, fine. That means you're ready for step number four. Be yourself hype. How can I love you if you don't love yourself? How can I cherish you if you don't cherish yourself? How can I give you what you can't give yourself? I can't give you a million dollars if you can't give yourself a million dollars. Don't come and expect that I 
you should keep it moving on the last one and you won't give yourself so be yourself high i know like in relationships your partner usually is like your support system yourself high like he hides you it's like basically your your pumping up system person that makes you skyrocket in it but he's no longer there she's no longer there you have to take up that self hype responsibility by yourself. You have to put yourself as permission by yourself. I mean, if I stretch this, I'm just going to tell you to speak to yourself, to tell yourself how beautiful you feel. I found myself a permission from Efficient 1 4, and I've been going throughout. I am loved. Like, what do you want to come and love me for? I have given myself the love. I know what I can give myself, and you can't give me. But if you feel like someone can give you everything and you can't give yourself that, that's when you're actually going to be at loss. Are you going to be hurt? So you just make sure that you find affirmation from your own self. Find it from what 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 makes you feel good about yourself. What makes you feel like as if you deserve more? Who makes you feel that way? That that's the question to ask yourself. Look yourself in the mirror. Ask yourself. Once you define that, make sure that that all spins around back to you. That not all the noise around us, my planet. Earth, what are you expecting to do? Fly to Mars and do a video? I probably should do that. Have yourself. You look at the mirror now. I know you find this thing. Why are you looking for somebody else to? It's normal. Like, please, we we'll make that mistake once too many times, and you should stop. Especially this year. That is my last video. You should go and check it out. Go and check it out. Go there. Eh? I have yourself. You safe know that you find this. Try and give yourself the value that nobody else can give you. You, you are going to give yourself so much more than anybody in this world put together can give to you. So be yourself. Hype. Don't stay alone. Do not stay alone. Don't just be by yourself and be crying and be sulking and remind yourself how much you don't. Don't stay alone. Go and make new friends. You connect with new friends. Don't go to your ex social media. Don't try to keep in touch with your ex. These things you should not do. Don't try to try and sort things out. You need closure. And let us just tell what person what you did. But don't go and follow the person social media. But if you follow the person social media, obviously <laughs> you're gonna find something you don't wanna find. You're gonna find that girl body like Gloria. You're gonna find that boy body like Bora. You see, I'm just a rapper. Eh? How can you do that to yourself? Don't go. Social media is always showing that people are good and people are not. Social media will be a big, you big person when you will be better than me. Really, just, just make sure that you keep. If you need a break on social media, take all the breaks you need. But don't go and kill yourself on social media. Ever be, please. Be cool. Please, just make sure that you, you leave social media. Then the one thing I want to say, the seventh and the last thing, is something I do. I was a very emotional person, so I asked God to help me to forget the people I used to date. See, I forget them. I find something new. I do something when I got out of a bad relationship. I I got most of the skills that I have today. I was just doing things for myself. I was just picking things. Like, there's this relationship I had here yeah, that the guy I've been dating since I was you dear George, you me for dating at I dated at 13 then. Look up me at 15. I actually thought I was in a relationship. Then I'm to come home and message this guy on Twitter like that. He wasn't calling me. So I was like, okay, let me just. They mention him on Twitter and I mentioned on Twitter that hey dear, how are you doing? This guy said, What's up, my child? How are you? <laughs> because he was an older guy, so he was just to let the child so that his new girlfriend was telling for me to go. I went to Twitter, I actually saw that I was beaten. <laughs> but I just told myself, Hey, it cannot be, it cannot be. I didn't want to believe it. Then I said, Okay, he was actually dating. I was very unbroken, but I couldn't keep myself. So what I told God is I should make him to forget. I forgot. As I forgot all the relationship that every single memory, like I think the memory is just my capacity is like the person is just flying through my mind. I was flying. I can't really remember what this person was to me anymore. It's just I just even the songs I'm starting, I'm like, oh my god, this is a song, but it, it doesn't get me the way it used to because I made up my mind. If you make up your heart, your heart. Your mind, your body, your heart, your soul, all of them have to agree that you are moving on. If three parts move on and the heart refuses to move on, then you are nowhere. Truly, truly tell yourself that your heart move on and to move on. Okay? I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be doing a video of 
what you should do before you enter a relationship or your next relationship i mean it's mad it's gonna be nice so just in case you want to just avoid heartbreaks the next relationship you are entering i think i'm going to name it before you fall in love again just subscribe here i advise you not to go out as an and pretend that like you're okay when you're not please talk to somebody when you're not okay please make sure you reach out to people please make sure you reconnect with old friends just do something with you don't Try to hide everything. If you keep hiding, like, I know someone, you hide, 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 hide. You know, there are some thoughts like when depression starts, it can lead to depression, it always starts from so before you know it, you will not be, you lose yourself in every relationship, you lose yourself to that person. You truly do a part of yourself. I mean, yes, you really do. But I mean, just calm down with the heartbreak thing, just calm down, cut the depression crap. Like, just don't be depressed. Come on YouTube, watch videos, do something with your life. Relationship, love is not everything. Love is you. You decide who you love and who you hate. Love is you. It's not somebody else. It doesn't come from outside. If you are waiting for love to come from outside, it's not going to come from there. It's going to come from here. It's what you have inside that you will give. Stop going back to positive relationships. Stop going back. If you truly want to move on, stop going back. If you truly want to move on, Stop. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope it was really helpful to you. Watch out for the next video and please like, share, comment, and most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Don't press that dial.